comfort is important to you, then the Vessel 220W3 is one of the most comfortable screwdriver handles on the market. Let's talk about the screwdriver handle first. So you can see here, it's the big ball here followed by the rest of the handle. It's got a really nice uh, gripped pieces on either side here, and it allows you to really get it in the palm of your hand and grab it in a way that feels very natural. In fact, this is the favorite, my most favorite grip of any screwdriver I've ever handled. There's two little tiny bits right there that you can get thumb and finger in for small little tiny work. Um, but I find it's, it's just so comfortable in my hand. I can get a lot of different um, ways of holding it that feels very natural and comfortable in my hand. Um, and it's incredibly lightweight. Like this handle alone right here weighs like, I, I don't even know how much, how to explain it. I feel like this two inch bit and this feels the same weight. It's probably not. This is probably a little bit heavier, but it feels the same weight to me. So let's talk about the three bits that come with this. So it comes with three double-ended bits. Um, two of them I have never used um, at all. You have the most useless one for most people. You, it comes with Positron or Posi Traction or I don't know what, PZ2 and PZ3. Um, and then the next one that I don't use very often at all is the Philips 3 and the Philips 1. And we'll talk more about the, this, these in a bit. But uh, the one I've used the most, and you can tell I've used the most because um, the actual symbols have worn off. This is a Philips 2 and this is a um, six millimeter uh, flathead. So the bits are retained by friction using an internal leaf spring and it actually feels really good. I don't feel like I'm gonna lose this at all. So if you wanna use other bits, um, you wanna use a bit that's at least two inches long. So here's a three inch bit. When I put it in there, I lose almost half of it. And when I take it out, I can show you, there's about roughly uh, an inch and five sixteenths that uh, goes inside the handle. So, you're not going to be using it with your one inch bits without an adapter and we'll talk about that later on. Here is a Banana 4 scale. Please subscribe. Before we get into using this, let's talk about these bits. There's a lot of debate online about um, whether they are actually Phillips bits or if they're JIS bits. And I can't say which for sure as I don't really know anything about JIS bits. So what I can say is that this number two Phillips fits perfectly inside Phillips screw areas, uh, Phillips screws, and this number three fits perfectly inside, no problem. So are they G JIS bits or are they proper Phillips bits? I don't know, but they work great for Phillips, so debate over. When I have it inside of there, I have really nice finger control here, but I can grip it and that feels really good here. It's a great little screwdriver. Now if you want to use these one inch bits, then it's pretty simple. You just have to have an adapter. So here I have my uh, Makita MBH quarter that I am very fond of and that so sets uh, itself right in there no problem and then I can use my one inch bits no problem. One thing that you're probably realizing is that I have the uh, the Leatherman uh, ratchet driver here and it fits in there no problem has really good retention and now I have a ratchet driver with this uh, handle on it and I can put in my one inch bits no problem and do whatever I need to do. You can see I've used this guy a lot because a lot of this is worn off. Um, this used to be what I carried at work but uh, now I of course I use my Hazit and I think this is a great moment to kind of show you um, the size 
of these handles. So as you can see, that ball is pretty big, but then if I show you the other way, it's actually really tiny. And then I'll show you like that, that standard acetate uh, screwdriver is actually bigger. So it's important that when we work our jobs, we feel comfortable in order to do the best job possible. But it's important at times to seek discomfort, okay? As being uncomfortable creates an opportunity for growth. Thanks for watching.